in this video, we're going to look at a construction that takes place in geometry. And up here in the top right hand corner, we can see our instructions for this video. It says we're going to construct point J on line segment AB so that the ratio of A to J or AJ to JB is 3 to 1. Okay, so we call this constructing a point along a directed line segment. Okay, so we've looked at how to do this um, in a previous video talk to, talking about how to partition a directed line segment. So I'll link, I'll link the video, um, that video in the top right hand corner right now. And so let's go ahead and get started. So what we're gonna need is our compass, some kind of writing utensil and a straight edge. Okay, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna take our compass and at the start you can open it however wide you want. Um, I'm just gonna open it this much and we're gonna take the needle of our compass and put it on A right here. And we're just gonna make an arc, just a little line right there. We're gonna keep our compass open the same amount and we're gonna do that three more times on this ray AC so that we can separate this segment or this ray into four congruent parts. Okay, so there's our second one and there's our third one and one more time and there we go. Okay, so now we're gonna label these. So we have A, B, C, so let's call this D, E, F, and G. Okay, so now we're gonna take our straight edge and we're gonna go ahead and connect G, our point up here, G that we created, to our point down here, B. So we're gonna take our pencil and our straight edge or our pen, and we're just gonna draw this segment connecting those two points. Okay, so now what we're gonna do is we're gonna take our compass again, and we're gonna copy this angle. Okay, so I've done a previous construction video on how to copy an angle. Um, so I'll go through this one pretty fast, but if you wanna review how to copy an angle, I'll post the link to that in the cards um, at the top right hand corner right now. Okay, so now we're gonna take our compass and we're gonna put the needle on G, and we can change the radius of our compass here. We can close it down just a little bit, and that's probably fine. And we're gonna put the needle on G, and here's how we copy an angle. So we want to draw an arc that intersects the segment that we just created here, and also our segment or our ray of AC over here on the left. Okay, so we're gonna do that just like this. Let me fix that a little bit. Okay, so that's like step one. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna copy this angle to these three sections that we just created here. So I'm gonna go ahead and leave my compass open this amount, and I'm gonna do this same arc for F, E, and D, okay? So we put our needle on F, and we draw this arc. Let's do it this way. There we go. Now let's do the same thing for E. Put the needle on E, and draw our arc. And let's do it one more time for D. Put the needle on D, and let's draw our arc going this way. All right, so now we're gonna go back to our original angle that we're trying to copy. And step two to copy an angle is put the needle here on this intersection of our first arc that we just did. And we wanna put the pencil end at the other intersection that we had. So let's open it up a little bit, make sure it's right on that intersection right there. And we're just gonna make a little arc like this, okay? So now we're gonna take that and we're gonna put this down here on the second arc that we made. And we're gonna make that same little arc right there because this is allowing us now to see where F should connect to our opposite segment. So now we're gonna do the same thing down here with this arc. And lastly, we're gonna do it for our final arc. Okay, so now we have copied angle A, G, B. And so now once we take our straight edge and we put the straight edge on vertice F up here, we're gonna put our, our pin right there and our marker is this intersection that we just created by copying the angle. So we're gonna go ahead and get our ruler right there and we're gonna draw our segment all the way to segment AB. And we're gonna do the same thing for this arc that we created here on E. And we're gonna do the last one here on D. And there we go. Okay, so now what we've done is we've created three more vertices down here. So let's call this D, E, F, G, and we'll call this H, I, and J. Okay, so now we can see we have A, H, A, I, A, J, and J, B. So our original goal was so that A, J to J, B was three to one. So here is A to J. So we have one, two, three, and we have J 
to B, which would be one. So there's our three to one ratio, and that is how we construct a point along a directed line segment. <laughs>